Am I, am I live? You're live. Am I live? Hello? You guys asked for it. You wanted an unboxing. So Ooh. here it is. BM8. Get this thing out. Oh my god. Ooh. That's a big box. Big machine. It's the M8. Welcome to Warm and Cozy Quilting. I'm Jason. Hello. Uh, my better part half, Danielle, is teaching a class this morning. Stripology, Master Your Stripology. Sadie's off. Kelly's running the camera. Woo! Woo! Go Kelly, thank you so much. Uh, my daughters are daughtering stuff, high school things. It's fun. I'm jealous. Um, they're awesome. I'm proud of them. I'm trying to get my stuff situated because I'm doing this on screen again by myself, but that's what happens when all these people are elsewhere. Um, again, thank you, Kelly. Um, I guess I need to not give her trouble for not working today. Everything's plugged in. Good Everything's plugged in. I think sound is working. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a giant machine to get through. There's so many parts, pieces, features, things, all the stuff. You guys are going to love seeing all this information. I'm looking forward to showing it to you guys. Um, I've been excited about this machine for a long time. Uh, and it is in. So I put it out to the collective last night. Which one did they want to see? Because I have the M17 here, which is wow. That's all I can say is wow. Um, and I also have the M8. And I said, which one do you guys want to see? And it was an overwhelming M8. Now, don't get me wrong. There are plenty of people that want to see the M17. So probably going to have to do something with that. Give it time. We'll get there. Uh, anyway, as is tradition for Saturday morning videos, I am going to have my general announcements about what's happening in the shop because, boy, there's so much going on. Also, I'm going to say hi. So if you're out there and you're watching, say hi. Let me know you're there. Um, the worst part of doing this on screen by myself uh, is that I feel like I'm out here by myself. And so any sort of comment is awesome and welcome. Reacts are awesome, too, because I see them in the Facebook feed. I, let me see let's know if people aren't sleeping. Uh, and if you're on the YouTube side, I do have the YouTubes over here, so I can see your comments. So by all means, please comment over there just the same. If you're over on the YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate the subscribers over there. And if you're on this side, hit that follow button and make sure you keep track of us because I always have so much fun information. Uh, I was thinking I might actually start like a little mini series of unboxings of the other Janomis. I don't know. What do you think, Kelly? Think it's worth doing? Think yeah. that'd be fun? That'd be real fun. That could be fun. So I might be doing that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, let me go over back here to my comments and see the people that are saying hi. Let's say some highs real quick because uh, we got some people sit out there joining me. Uh, I got Julie. Good morning. Hello, Pam. Um, let's see. Whoop. Jump and scroll link. Love it. Hello, Alvina. Good morning. And we got Joanne. Southern Illinois. Represent. All right. Nice to see you on, Miss Joanne. Hello, Carol. And good morning, Dolores. Also Southern Illinois, representing. Proud of you guys. Uh, we got Harvest hanging out. Uh, unboxing series, love that. I mean, is this a thing? Have I missed out on an opportunity? Well, <laughs> never too late to start, right? And let's be honest, they're, they're not near as fun as, as myself. And I'm, I mean, I think I'm funny. That counts. Uh, God, Kelly's just chuckling at me. She doesn't, she, that's probably more of a pity chuckle. I understand. Uh, let's see what else we have going on here. Thank you for sharing, Pam. I do appreciate that. Uh, 2.0, special thank you to Danielle and Sadie for all your wonderful help yesterday. Duly noted. I'll put that in their general review. Uh, that way we all are aware of it. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, all right. Fantastic. Uh, Zach Taylor, my moxie is getting dusty. Well, that means you need to use it. That's how that works, Mr. Zach. And really, what you want to do is get yourself one of these guys, these M8s. And then it'll make the Moxie jealous, and then you'll have to, like, it'll be a whole thing. See? I'm helping you out. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So let's look at some quick comments, or uh, not comments, but general information that you need to know, because, well, it's very important to know what the happenings are in the warm and cozy. Number one, if you've been doing the QOV blocks, if you have a pack of those that you took... Uh, those are the block drive that we're doing for Quilt of Valor this year. Uh, they are 12 inch uh, Ohio Star blocks. Super easy, all pre cut, ready to go. You need to have those back into us by no later than Wednesday, February 14th. That's in like three or four days. I can't math very well because it's Saturday. Uh, make sure you have them in. Once you turn them in, you'll get entered for a chance to win a $25 gift card and a box of quarter quarters or 
and also a chance to win just a box of quarter quarters because that's thank you 2.0. Um, again, that's Wednesday the 14th. Drop them off. While you're dropping those off on the 14th and you're in store to say, hey, here's my blocks, at 11 a.m., we are having an in-person demonstration live here at the building with Miss Emily from Laura Star. She's coming in, our friend. Uh, she, uh, she does the Laura Star demo, sells, all that stuff. Uh, she's coming in to show us the newest model of Laura Star. You've heard us talk about it. You've heard the buzz. You may not totally understand what it is and why would I care. And I've Googled that price and nah, I'm telling you right now, stop that. Come in, see it in person. It's a game changer. You will absolutely love the Laura Star irons, either the portable, the stand-up machine, or even the full system. You're going to love them either way. Come in and check them out. 11 a.m., in-person demo. And of course, we will have deals and specials running on that. So Kelly's excited about that. She's gonna, she says it's going to be magical. I'm not sure how magical it's going to be, but you may as well come and find out how magical it is. <laughs> they are great. I do love them. Um, the last thing I want to talk about before I dive into this lovely machine is that we do have the St. Louis Metro Area Shop Hop. We are participating in it again this year. This year, we are the ones on the Illinois side. Everybody else is on the Missouri side. There are six shops participating. On March 1st, you go to your favorite quilt shop of the six participating and you grab yourself your passport. You take that passport and you go and you visit the other shops. This can all be done in one day. It's very possible. Uh, at the end of visiting all those shops and getting your stamps at each shop, you'll be entered for a drawing uh, by filling out the little form at the bottom of that passport. We'll turn that in at your last shop. Gets you a chance to win a couple good prizes. I believe this year the grand prize is a sewing machine, specifically a Janome uh, 3160 which is a great little travel machine. Uh, also, uh, six other winners will win a $100 gift card to a, one of the six shops that are participating in it. So that's at least seven really good prizes out there for people to have. So it's gonna be worth joining in on that shop hop. Again, that starts March 1st, runs the entire mar month of March. And I think we may even have a Sunday hour day in there. Like most quilt shops are closed on Sundays. We're gonna have a Sunday hour day. Thanks. Anyway, check out more information. Uh, I think there's a Facebook group. I would point you to that somewhere, but I don't think I linked it in the description. Sorry. So this is what happens when Sadie's not here. I kind of fall apart on technology. Sorry about that. She did it so much fancier. She is so much fancier at that stuff. <laughs> anyway, love it. Oh, okay, so that's the majority of the announcements. There you go. Um, let's see here. I do have to say good morning to Sandy. Hello. And Jody, good morning. Good to see you, Sherry Joe. Uh, good morning. Oh, Jason by himself. <laughs> So you missed it at the intro. Everybody else is doing things. You know, that's what happens. Danielle is doing the stripology, master your stripology class. All I'm going to say is that class fills up so quick <laughs> because it's a stripology class and she's a certified stripologist. And I may or may not tell people my wife's a stripper. Sorry. And when I'm in the room by myself and nobody laughs, I'm pretty sure that joke didn't land and I feel terrible. My wife is not a stripper. She is not. She is not. She is a wholesome human being. She's the best ever. Does not strip. But she does cut strip of fabrics. So therefore she's a stripper. Okay. <laughs> and good morning, Vicky. Glad you made it on as well. Oh my gosh. Um, so today we're going to sell, I mean, we're going to show you the M8. If you want one though, yeah, I sell them. You need to come in and check this thing out. All right, Jody was on the wait list for today and I've got zero cancellations for this class today. So yes, Ms. Sherry Joe, I'm aware. I saw that list and there's a couple other people with you out there and they are all eagerly waiting for somebody to be like, I can't make it. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks Harvest, I appreciate that. Oh, sorry, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Danielle's probably over in the classroom watching as she's preparing for this. So yeah, thanks. And you can all imagine the face she made just now. How did I do? Did I get it? Okay. So I think that's everything. Does anybody have any questions about announcements and any of that stuff? Oh, newsletter went out yesterday. You may have read that newsletter. If you did not, I recommend you go check it out. It tells you even more information on what's going on. Also, um, we may actually have Danielle and Victoria doing a, uh, a segment um, on Channel 2 um, on the 21st. Is it still Wednesday? Wednesday the 21st, so that's not this coming Wednesday, it's the next Wednesday. 
uh, it's that Show Me St. Louis, not Show Me St. Louis, St. Louis Studio, STL Studio on Fox 2 at noon 1, something like that. I, I should know better. The details are in the newsletter, but they'll be there live talking about us. So if you want to see that, make sure you go check that out. Um, I'm sure we'll have the clip. We'll be able to share all that stuff if you can't watch locally, but it'll be a good time. I encourage you watching that. Um, Sax asks, what's the biggest controversy in the quilting community? That's a really good question. Um, I think the biggest controversy in the quilting community is hand quilting versus machine quilting. And after today, I think it's going to be hands down machine quilting. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, I, got, I just made some people mad. I'm not, I'm kidding. Obviously, I'm not serious entirely. Mostly though. Um, let's see how this goes. All right. So let's go jump over here to my list of information. So I keep myself corralled because if we haven't noticed, I distract easily. It kind of goes all over the place. So good morning, Marsha. Good to see you down in the Florida. That's cool. She's from Illinois. Awesome. Good deal. Glad you made it. All right. So where do we start? There's so much to talk about with this box, this machine, everything that comes with it, all the features, all the parts, all the pieces, and what it can do is just amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the lid. Yeah, there's four flaps on the as soon as you open it. But when you open it, there's this here top part. Hold on. You get a giant box of cardboard. Um, actually, this is packaging. Obviously, that is not what you get. That would be silly. But inside of this here box on the top, the best part is that this comes out first. This is your dust cover for your machine. You see how giant this thing is? This is an indication of the size of this machine. It's a real nice sturdy type vinyl. It's not hard cover, but it's going to cover your machine wonderfully as it sits wherever you have it placed for all your wonderful projects. Pull it up nicely, thank you. Okay. So dust cover, love that. You got to have them. Also, yeah, you saw that giant Janome embroidered across there. That's really good. Ooh, look at this. So that fell, that wasn't supposed to, but it did. This is the extension table for the M8. Do you see the size of this thing? It is gigantic. I love this thing. Um, it has six feet that support it. It also has this cute little drawer on the front of it so you can store stuff inside of it while you're working on your machine or with your machine. A drawer on an extension table. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love it. So it gives you another, you know, 14 inches space, surface area, maybe, I don't know. It's a lot. Um, it's gonna be fantastic for you. So I'm gonna just set this over here briefly, okay? Diane Holmes, hi, Diane, we are something. I'm assuming she's on her way because I think she's in class today. Traveling, yes, if you don't live local and you wanna come take a class, you can. We, we, we ain't moving, you don't have to chase us. That'd be cool though, like a mobile class, <laughs> world shop. If you can catch us, you can take a class. Oh, God. Okay. Next, as we move through the box opening itself, we have the best part. The little accessories. Uh, this has a ton of stuff in it. You've got your bobbin foot, or not your bobbin, that is your buttonhole foot thing. So you can put your buttons in there and make your buttonholes. I believe, I wanna say it's either six or 12 buttonholes. I really don't make buttonholes, I don't sew but you have a lot of options for that. So if you're into the sewing world, this machine is not sewing specific or quilting specific. It is great for both. It just covers everything. Uh, you have your advanced walking foot, also known as the even feed foot. This system is amazing. I'll talk about that a little bit here. Um, and this has the other, I believe it's like 22 feet in total that come with this system. Um, plus a ton of other stuff. We'll kind of poke through that in a moment just to kind of see what's all in there. Because, I mean, really, that's fantastic. Um, uh, it's it's a racket pickleball bat? That, no, it's not. It's, I'm kidding. This is a little uh, plate where you put your large foot pedal on. Do you see the size of this thing? Imagine missing that. If you're missing that, put down the wine glass, step away from the machine. Things have gotten wild. Okay, first off. But why do I need that there, Jason? Well, that's because you have this little guy here that goes along with it. You know what this is? It's a thread cutter. So yeah, you don't have to push a button. You can just, I, I just motioned moving my foot over a little bit and hitting the brake. 
you can't see my feet. Anyway, so it comes with a thread cutting pedal and your regular sewing foot pedal. This thing is amazing. Uh, I have yet to find somebody that says, I can't stand these giant feet pedal are the worst. I, have, I haven't met that person yet. If, if you know that person, well, steal it from them. They don't need it anymore, obviously. It does come with a knee lifting bar. Do you know what a knee lifting bar is for? I'm waiting for somebody to answer. Kelly, do, can you help me out here? Like, <laughs> she doesn't know. It's to lift your presser foot. A lot of, there's some brands, some older brands that this was actually a start and stop for machines. In the genomic world, this is actually to lift your presser foot. So as you're sewing along, instead of taking your hands off to raise the presser foot to either pivot or adjust your fabric, all you simply need to do is press your leg against this bar and it will raise your presser foot. It's actually pretty fantastic. Now, if that's not for you, but let's say you're a thread painter or something of that sort, genomic machines have what's known as a variable uh, zigzag stitch. At least this machine does. And what that does for you is if you're doing some thread painting, you can, by pushing on the bar, adjust that zigzag width as you're stitching and filling in an area. Yeah, so you can go from really small area to really all the way up to that nine millimeter just by pushing on that bar. How great is that? Anyway, this is included. You don't have to buy this. Just another fun part of it. It also comes with two additional needle plates. What? Well, it's, let me explain. One is an HP, which is for high performance. One is for just straight stitch only. And then the other one is your standard plate, which is on the machine, which, well, she's still over there. So I'll get that in a minute. But these things are awesome. Don't lose these. Um, if you're like Danielle, you really only need the HP plate, but that's something to, you know, be aware of. You've got those. And last but not least, on the top here, we have a cloth guide. I don't seamstress or tailor, whatever term is you would like to use. Um, but that's what this guy's for. It's got a nice little guide on it. You set it attaches to the top of your machine. It helps kind of guide stuff. A uh, kind of cool feature. I did watch a little video about this last night. Um, it's nifty. It's nothing I'll ever use, but that doesn't mean you can't find a purpose for it. So um, pretty neat. The fact that it comes along with it, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that in any of the other machines that I've unboxed, possibly the M17. So kind of a nice little added feature there. Um, so next we have the machine itself. Okay. You guys are probably wondering about the specs on this machine as far as weight. This is a get this machine and set it in one place. And that's kind of where it's going to stay because this is a 36 pound. Nope. Sorry. A 38.4 pound machine. Yes. That's nearly 40 pounds. That's nearly, what would you say? Four 10 pound bags of potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. I do like potatoes. Did you eat today? Yeah, did, I did eat my Wheaties today. <laughs> and so therefore, I'm really psyching myself up to pick this thing up. If I fall out of my chair while I'm lifting this, please don't panic. Don't call 911. That's what Kelly's here for. I'll be okay. I'm just old. So we hope for the best. Okay. So here we go. You ready? One, two. Okay. Here we go. Oh my God. Whew. Man. That's a, that's a hefty machine. Let's slide this over a bit more. I'm going to scoot over some. Look at that. Oh, you can see my camera reflecting in the monitor. How fun is that? The light. <laughs> anyway, so, that, so there she is. That is the M8, the Janome Continental M8 Professional. Um, so you're looking at it you're like, okay, give me more information about what that thing actually is. Okay. So specifications, this thing is 25 inches, 25.6 inches long. So from over here, you can barely see my hand, to over here, 25.6 inches. It is 14.6 inches high, so that's awesome. And then the depth at its farthest points, 10 inches, 10.2 inches, 38.4 pounds. This throat space right here, from your needle to the right, 13 and a half inches by five and a half deep. So like that's a five and a half surface area by 13. Like that's, you could have, you could have breakfast on that. I like could set a plate on there. I probably don't encourage that behavior. But I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Do what, do what makes you happy. That's fine. Okay. Your maximum stitch length that you can do with this lovely machine is five millimeter. That's a really long stitch just for the record. 
Um, your maximum width is a nine millimeter, which is pretty standard for the top of the line of Janomis at this point, a uh, nine millimeter, which is a good size stitch. Uh, as we talked about the knee lifter, the foot pedal, all that comes with it. Let's talk about the number of stitches. How many stitches can your machine do? I don't have a machine, so mine is none. That, <laughs> a lot of us think we have one stitch and that's straight because that's all we do is piece one. Kelly has an HD9, so she has one. It's straight, like that's it. Um, this guy has 450 available stitches. 450, wrap your head around that one for a second. It's incredible. That's so many options to stitch with. That does include the alphabet. It does have three different alphabets, three different fonts, which are actually really nice fonts. They're not some like silly little stick man font. It's, they're different, decent stuff, fonts, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the really nice thing about the stitch situation is that you can combine up to 100 stitches. So you could take multiple letters. You could make a whole 100 letter sentence Stack that together and you can stitch that out. How incredible is that? The other thing I forgot to show you was the instruction manual. And I'm not really sure where I put that. I set it down <laughs> and I forgot about it. Because this is on the floor right now. Now it's here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so I'm going to direct for just one second. Uh, you're going to have to totally prop something against that door because those folks are loud. <laughs> Um, go ahead and just put that fan in front of the door just to kind of keep it from flying open. Because holy cow, you got 12 people entering a room to be excited? It's going to be loud. I understand. I ain't mad. But my studio, it, it's not soundproof. Anyway, something I forgot to mention at the beginning was this lovely piece of paper. Uh, if you read French, Hollywood Francais, you can read the warranty and 25 year information, what that means. I also have it in the English version. Uh, the nice thing about Janome is they come with a really solid warranty. That's one year parts and labor, which is fantastic. That means you could play with it. You botch something up, it's covered. It's really kind of neat that way. Uh, then you have a five-year electrical mechanical warranty. So it covers parts for electrical and mechanical pieces. And then you got the 25-year part warranty that covers or service, whatever you want to call it. That's this guy here. So you'd read through that and have that information. Amazing warranty. It's awesome. But this instruction booklet. So, do you see the size of this thing? Like, this thing is as large as the machine is deep. I don't know what to say, there's a word there. Um, this is 160 pages long. There is so much information in this. The one thing that I found while I was reading through this the other day is that it's not just like a boring instruction manual. It actually steps you through how to use each of the stitches and each of the features that are on this machine. It is so incredibly in-depth and useful. It's amazing. Uh, what needles to use, what thread types to use, what needle width threads for what purpose that you're doing, what type of fabrics that's good for. There is so much information in here. Oh, and by the way, it's printed. It comes with the machine. You don't get a machine and then you have to put in a disc to find out how to use it. It's awesome. Even if you lose this, you know what's even better? They have this same exact instruction manual on the Genomi website available to the general public. Yeah, you can go out there right now and you could download this and see this entire document in PDF form. What would you do with it? I don't know. Just read through it and drool a little bit. Careful, don't drool on the computers. It doesn't work well. Anyway, um, this thing is pretty awesome. It also even shows you the alphabet fonts. Here, I'm going to flip over here so you can see them. So there's a couple of them. So much to choose from and different little, you know, accents and whatever. The, I'm not a language person. There's the other set of them. And then there's some symbols even. Like, this is just a small section of the stitches that are available. It's wild, and they're all listed in that book. So if you're kind of curious what that is, go check that out, okay? Um, the other fun thing about this is, aside from all the little accessories and parts you get, don't fall. They give you a little toolbox to keep all your feet and your accessories in, so that way you don't lose them. Look at that. You could put them all in there. You could put some bobbins in there. This is great for traveling. If you need to travel with your machine, it's great for just having your stuff all together because how many times do you get parts and pieces and you're like, oh, I'll store them in this and some over there and maybe some over there. And all of a sudden you're kind of like the, the straw man. <laughs> parts of you over there and there's other parts over there. Don't do that. Get a machine that gives you the little toolbox to go with it. It's nice. It's wonderful. It's everything together.
And last but not least, the part that comes in the box that is absolutely the only reason to buy this machine. That's a lie. I'm kidding. This is my favorite part though. This guy. This is the ASR, the Advanced Stitch Regulation or Accurate Stitch Regulator. When it comes to Advanced Stitch Regulator, this thing is fantastic. This replaces your foot here. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the box, shall we? It's a nice little container box that it's in. So this is your regulator foot. Ta-da! Simple, basic, right? The neat thing here is that on the bottom here, you see that little black box? That's an optical sensor. This is actually very similar to the same sensors that I have in the long arm tables for the Amara ST, where you move the fabric across that, it recognizes the movement and then tells the machine, okay, you're gonna take stitches accordingly. Speed up, slow down, depending on how fast we're moving the fabric. This is super fantastic when you're trying to quilt and you're used to using the foot pedal, moving the fabric, trying to get it all right at the same time, and you just can't seem to do it so your stitches are super long and then super short and then super long. This guy takes care of that problem for you. Uh, the really cool thing about it is this is just the standard foot that comes on it. This just comes off real easy. And if we wanted to, we could change it out with one of the other guys. What's nice is we have an open toe foot. So we got that. Ooh, I don't think you can see that. I got too much color behind me. Nice little cut and open toe there so that way you have a lot more visibility while you're quilting. You have the echo foot, which is just a round disc. So as you're stitching, you're able to kind of use that as a guide to keep your distance from your previous line nice and consistent, which is really fun. And last but not least, if you're into that sort of thing, it does come with a ruler foot. Now, you're like, well, what's the difference between that and the other guy? Can I use a ruler with that one? You see the difference in the wall height between those two? Maybe over here a little bit. This one's a lot higher. So when you put that ruler up to this foot to start doing your stitching, it's a little bit higher. So it's a little bit more secure. That way you don't, you know, jump over the ruler foot and slam into your needle with your ruler or vice versa because that's always a bad place to be. Um, so I'm gonna put these guys back in here so I don't lose them, because that would be awful. And then my guess is, do you guys want me to turn the machine on? Do you wanna see this guy illuminated and on? Maybe, give me some sort of reaction. I don't even know if you people are out there still. Please, a little bit. Are they still there? Okay, I believe you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set this here for right now. I'm gonna set this over here. I kind of made a mess of my workspace over here. This is crazy. Thank you for the reactions, folks. I do appreciate that. I do love it. Okay. So I told you I'd plug it in. So let's do that. Where'd my power cord go? If I was a power cord, where would I hide myself? Is it underneath this here? Is it that? Thank you, Kelly. You are the best. All right, so I'm just going to plug this in over here, like that. I'm going to turn it on. Oh, we're not done with features, by the way. If you're like, oh, that was fun, Jason. Thanks for showing me all that. Um, we, no, no, we're not done yet. Okay, so I just powered up. Um, you may have noticed that my lighting has changed significantly because the light space in this throat, do you see how incredibly bright this is? My hand is washed out. I can't even see my hand because it's so washed out, because it is so bright. Um, I am absolutely in love with the amount of illumination that this thing has. So I'm going to grab this. Hopefully this will just kind of dim that down a little bit. Look how, well, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's so illuminated. I am so excited. Can hmm? Can you turn it over? Uh, I could try. Uh, I would really need a larger piece of fabric to kind of slide in there. At this point, you guys will just deal with it with me. It's fine. Let's just roll with it. Okay. So I've turned it on and if you notice on my screen and there's a little warning box that popped up, what that's telling me is that I need to move my needle up. And so I have to turn my hand wheel very slowly. Well, the hand wheel is this big old guy over here. So I'm gonna turn that in the correct direction it's supposed to turn. And when I get to the right point, it's gonna do a self check. It's gonna bring that presser foot up automatically for me. I didn't have to touch anything. It is amazing. I do love that feature. Um, one of the coolest things is this feet the machine has gotten now. Actually, hold on. Do I have the ability to turn off some of these lights? I don't have time to figure that out. I would love to turn these lights off, and I should have looked at that beforehand. My bad. 
When I go to start stitching, I can hit the start button here because I don't have my presser foot attached. Or my, my what you call it, foot pedal. It automatically puts down that foot for me like it's ready to go. And then it realizes I don't have thread. So there is a thread brake sensor, which is great. It won't let you stitch without top thread. It also has a bobbin thread sensor. So it won't let you stitch without bobbin thread. It also checks to see the depth of that. It will let you know when you're close to running out of bobbin. Are you kidding me? How many times have I stitched for four weeks straight, just so much fabric backing up behind my machine to realize I ran out about two inches into that starter for that run? Who's been there? Yes, <laughs> yes. It's the worst. Been there. Don't like it. Don't need to do it anymore. Ta-da, here you go. Um, the other great thing about this is on the side here, you can't really see it. When you come in to see this machine in person, I'll show it to you better. There's this little wheel here. You know what this is for? You see my needle moving? It's my thumb wheel. So I don't have to reach all the way over here to turn the hand wheel. I can just go here and I can just turn that a little bit and it, it moves my needle for me. How is this useful? Well, if you're doing applique and you're trying to make sure that your needle's gonna land right where you need it to be, and you don't wanna reach all the way over, you can just, so cool. It's, <laughs> it's the little things that make all the stitching better. The knee bar, the this guy, the foot pedal going, or the foot presser foot going up and down because it's told to. The needle staying in as the foot comes up so you can pivot without thinking about it. It's so absolutely incredible. I love every minute of it. Okay, so I need to go up. Pardon me a second. Stay up for a second. Oh, I need my foot to go up also. Thank you, sir. All right, um, let's see here. Let's see, Sadie says, I hate fake sewing without bobbins. Yeah, it's real. It's awful, it's terrible. Um, so when you put your bobbin in, it's just a simple top load bobbin. We just take that little plate off, put your bobbin in, nice and easy. Um, the fun part is, is in my opinion, the fun part, is like if I have finished a project and I want to clean up my machine, you know, do the general maintenance like we're supposed to, I like to take my needle plate off, make sure I get all that lint kind of out of the way so it doesn't stack up inside my machine because, you know, good maintenance on our machine, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure my machine. There's a little lock button there. If you notice on my screen now, there's this little blue box that popped up. What is that for? Well, if I push that, did you see that? It pushed my needle plate up for me. I didn't have to go get a screwdriver, fight with taking these little screws out. I didn't have to push a button and try to pry it up. None of those things. It just goes whoop. And then I can clean out inside my, my hook area. And when I'm done, slide it back in. And I just let it go down. And there's a really strong mag magnet in there that goes whoop, and pulls it down. You don't have to push. You don't have to try. You don't have to fight with it. It just puts it right back into place. Who's in love? Who is in love? Raise your hand. Go ahead. It's totally fine. I totally understand. Um, I'm going to have a hard time selling these because uh, I'm going to take them all and take them home with me. I'm kidding, obviously. So these are all like the visual outside parts of it. There, I have some great notes on here um, about other things that aren't built into the machine as far as the stitches. Because uh, I told you, 450 different stitches, that's a lot. It's so much. And a lot of times we're going to have a hard time understanding what we want to do with it. I think my favorite ones that I read about were the hidden stitches. Um, this is a really cool feature where when you use the right thread types, it will stitch a design, be it a circle or whatnot, and then it will stitch down to the next one, but it does such fine micro stitches, it buries that thread in the fabric that you don't see the stitches. So it looks like you've done stitching and then skips to the next part, does some more stitching and keeps on skipping and doing that. It's really kind of neat looking. Um, how many of you, I've, I've had this question a ton of times, to see the hand quilted stitches. You like to see the hand quilting look, but you don't want the hand quilt. This machine has the ability to do that. I read about it, it's in the book. It tells you how it does it. Use a clear thread on top. It basically makes a stitch that's tight enough that kind of pulls up your bobbin thread to look like a hand stitch while the clear thread holds stuff in place. And it gives you that hand stitched look without actually having to hand stitch. Hand quilters, I love you. I'm not trying to take away your jobs. Please continue doing it. For those of us that don't know how to, or probably never will take the patience and time to learn it, uh, great option, super cool. Uh, love that feature about it. Uh, there's also, 
I've heard it pronounced so many different ways. I probably should have done a, a, a look up on this one. Uh, but Sashiko, Sashiko, it's a thread, it's a stitch type. Uh, it's super cool. It's very hand stitch looking style. Uh, yes, this machine can do that. <laughs> I mean, why would I, why would I not let it do it for me? That sounds amazing. Uh, the needle threader. Oh, that's what I was going to get was, doesn't matter. You're not going to see it that close up anyway to see the needle threader work. But what this machine has is what they refer to, uh, Janome call, is calling the superior needle threader. Uh, the really cool thing about it is, if you have a needle threader on your machine already, when you go down and you put your needle through there and it brings the thread out, it sometimes just brings a long loop to the back, which then you have to kind of fish the rest of the thread through the needle. When you use this system and you clip that thread properly, when it comes through, it brings the entire tail all the way through the, the eye of the needle and you're just ready to go. You don't have to go in and fiddle with bringing that little bit of extra thread through. Uh, for those of you that like threading your needle, that may not be exciting. I'm not judging. It's totally fine. This is not for me. Uh, this is actually kind of great. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sadie loves the Sashiko look. Again, she typed it. I don't know that I pronounced it right. And if I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, let's see. What else do we have that I love to tell you guys about this thing? Um... You like the screen. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I almost forgot. <laughs> this machine has an app for that. <laughs> it has an app for that. So, you know me, aside from having the super informative instruction manual, also all the videos that they put out there in the YouTube world on the Facebook pages that they have, all these wonderful sources of information and ideas, they have an app. So if you're much more a tech person, you much prefer to have your phone to read, to look at, instead of trying to flip through a book, especially because on our phones, we can zoom in and make that text bigger, where it's really hard to zoom in on a piece of paper. Not as fun. If you notice, I don't know if you can see it or not. Again, the illumination on this thing is amazing. Down in the bottom corner, there's a QR code. Um, actually, it might be because this is... So, um, it's sort of lit. Wait. This. Ooh, okay, yeah, so there's a QR code down here. The really cool thing about that is Janome has an app. It's called AccuSpark 2, okay? This app, when you put it on your phone, and it's, it's Apple and Android, you have it for both. When you scan that QR code, it's going to tell you more about the screen that you're currently sitting on. So if you change stitch types, that QR code changes. So you can scan it and get more information about that stitch. All these stitches, all these options that are in this machine have a QR code and has information that you can look at on your phone. Uh, a lot of time and thought and effort went into this process so that you have that information at your fingertips. Typically, I lose instruction manuals. I set them down, it ends up in this pile of patterns over there. I don't know where it went and I need to know how to do this. What does this button do? I don't ever lose my phone. I say all the time, I hate my phone. I wish I didn't have it. I miss the days when I could go around without a phone. Yeah, no, these days, if I don't have my phone, I feel naked. So I always know where that is. So I know I can always get the information I need when I'm using my sh machine, which is really super awesome. Um, so we talked about the needle plate. We talked about the advanced stitch regulation. Uh, there was a request in the collective last night to show the advanced or the uh, accurate stitch regulator on video. I'm not going to show it on video. If you want to see it, you need to come in. I am going to have this lovely monster set up on my sales floor. Uh, probably shortly after this here video. I'm going to have the M17 set up on my sales floor. We will still do an informational go through of the M17. Obviously not an unboxing because I'm going to take it all out of the box, but it's still the same effort. Um, I'm probably going to do the same for the 9480. All three of these machines have that stitch regulator option available to it. The M8 and the M17 come with the, the accurate stitch regulator, which is super great because it's not an added feature add-on kind of thing. You just get it with the machine. So, Again, I'm going to have them on the floor today. Come in, have a look at these guys. They're all amazing. Um, I didn't really go through all the features here in this box. Do we need to go through everything in this here package? Do you guys want to? Say, Kelly, what do you think? I mean, there's a lot in here. There's a ton of little things that come with this. Um, there's a part of me that really wants to. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you want to see what's in the little, in the little accessory bag? Do you want to go through it all? I'm fine with that. 
I don't know that I'm gonna have the right answers to what I'm gonna make words up if that's in any sort of like draw for you at all. And give me an idea here. Um, but otherwise, like I said, there's just so much that goes with this machine internally, mechanically speaking, um, as far as the accessories that go with it. Also, the motor that exists with this machine is one of the most powerful that Janome has with any of their machines on the market at this point in time. Uh, it does not care. I would call it the honey badger of the sewing machine bat machines. Uh, it will go through the things. Ah, we're getting the yes, they want the accessories. Who am I to disappoint my customer base? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just slide her over a little bit. We're not getting rid of her. She's just gonna hang out to the side a little bit because she's kind of a monster and I need a little bit more room here to work. Here, side over. Okay, thank you. Ooh, golly, you're heavy. You need to go on a diet. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not shaming anything. You look great. You're awesome. You're the best. Okay, so accessories. So many, so many accessories. Just set that back right there. Okay, sort this out a little bit. There is a sticker piece of paper here. Oh, that goes on my machine to tell me how to thread it. Super fun. I may put that on in a moment. It comes with a little pack of needles to start with. You're like, boy, that's some really colorful needles there, Jason. Uh, so Janome actually does a color coding system for the needles they recommend using with their machine. Uh, the blue tip needles, the ones that are blue, are very useful for just general sewing and piecing. Work really well. I think they're like a size 11. Uh, the purple needle and the pink needle, those both are for much more robust materials that you're sewing through. Uh, the purple needle specifically has a different shaped head. It's more like a ballpoint. Uh, it's going to effectively create a larger hole so that your thread passes through better. Um, but yeah, that's what those are for. There's also a double needle on here. Jason doesn't double needle. If you ask me how to use one, I'm gonna tell you, read the book. That's not true. I might come up with something. It just depends on how I feel that day. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, but double needle is absolutely something you can do with this. I know that's more of the seamstress world, a uh, sewing world. Not really my place, I don't understand it yet. All right, we've got so many things kind of together here. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, the best thing ever. Do you know what this is? No, it's not a mini toy cigarette. Stop that. <laughs> what do you think this is, 1975? No, it's a sea ripper. I know, that's sad, right? I don't, <laughs> is that really a selling point? You bought a sewing machine, they gave you a, a seam ripper. I mean, it's a bad omen foreboding thing. But hey, if we sew, we rip. That's just kind of the mantra around here. We all know that. So, comes with a seam ripper, which is really nice to have one of those guys around. It does come with a little cleaning brush. So that way you can kind of get in there and clean up inside your needle plate area. You do want to do that regularly. So obviously they're telling you to do it. Keep that thing clean. Makes your life better. You got this guy. Um, I was always told this was, uh, uh, they, I think, hump jumper was the term I've heard. Um, it's for larger bulkier seams. I actually, in the book, was reading uh, when I was looking through it again last night. Apparently you can use this for attaching buttons in this particular fashion. Pretty nifty. I wouldn't know how that works because again, I don't really generally sew, but I could do it because I have a book and I have the part that needs to do it. We've got these guys, which are used for putting on top of the thread mast. Oh, it's off screen. I didn't mention this. It has upright thread holders. So you can put your cone on top and the thread feeds straight up off the top. No putting it down in this little recessed hole and the thread has to feed off that way. It's really cool. It's got an independent motor in the bobbin winder. So you can have another cone of thread fed directly to your bobbin winder and you can run that independently while you're stitching. Cause you're like, mm, I'm probably gonna run out soon. I should probably run that bobbin. Boop. And you don't have to re-thread things. It's awesome. So we got the bigger disc for that. We've got the medium disc. Oh, I can't pick that up. Good Lord. And then there's little bitty guys somewhere. Here they are. Got a couple of those hiding somewhere. There's the other one. So caps for your cones of thread when you put them on the thread mast help keep them in place. They also have these little skirts. So if you have the big cones of thread, see those all right? Those are when you have your large cone of threads, you set them on there, it's real bobbly that happens. You put these underneath and then that cone sits on top of it and it doesn't shift around a whole lot, which is really super nice. So that way you can stitch with the larger cone of thread. More thread means you stitch longer with less concern in running out because that's how it works. Huh. Well, they send it with a flat little flathead screwdriver, which is cool. What I use that for, well, we're gonna use that for taking off the foot. 
when we're going to swap out to our, our stitch regulator or if we need to change the needle. So that's nice. They give you one of those. I'm getting to the feet. We're getting there, I promise. It does come with some thread nets. Thread nets are super important if you're using a real slick thread that likes to bounce off and unspool off the cone real easily. This helps to corral that thread so it keeps a little more tame before it starts going through the threading process. Uh, so two of those, is, that's, that's kind of nice to have that. I love that idea. It does come with one, two, three, four. Sounds right. Four clear plastic bobbins. Uh, these are class 15s. They are embossed on the spindle with a capital J showing they, they are Janome bobbins. Um, Janome strongly encourages you to use the Janome bobbins in their machines. Um, did you know that Janome stands for snake eye? For eye of the snake? They were kind of in the front forefront of generating and creating bobbins of this of this style. And if you look at it, it does kind of look like the eye of a non-poisonous snake, round with a round eye pupil. So that's why they uh, went with this name back in 1920, because that was the best decision to go with. Who might tell them how to live their life? Anyway, you get four bobbins that come with that, which is great. Plus, there is one inside the machine, so you actually get five. Okay, so we're getting close to the feet situation here, and there are so many feet, and I should have got my cheat sheet out for what these feet are, and I probably would do that anyway. Um, also, it does come with a stylus. This little stylus is what you can use on your screen. I use my finger, but the stylus is probably a much better idea, so you don't get fingerprints all over it. I don't recommend using a pen or a pencil or any other hard surface because you will ruin that screen. If you're going to touch it with any pokey object of sort, make sure it is a stylus of this sort. Comes with that. Okay, let's see here. So many feet. And if I had this many feet, I'd be so fast. Whoa. Run, Forrest. No? Okay. I thought it was fun. Let's slide this off the side here because I am going to use my cheat sheet because there's a lot of feet in here. The important one that I see here, though, is my quarter inch foot. Um, that thing's super cool. It's got the little side shield on it. This is actually known as the O foot. By the way, if you didn't know this about Janome's, when you pick a foot or you pick a stitch that you're going to use, the screen will tell you which foot you want to have on your machine. So that way you get the right foot that's going to be most effective for what you're going to do. So we've got the O foot. I'm going to open this book up here to page number. If you'll open your books with me to page. Once upon a time, there was a big machine. No, okay, nope, not it. Here we go. Oh, goodness. Okay, so the A foot is on the machine already. This is the standard zigzag foot. This is the one I use for just general playing on the machine with. You come into the store, you're going to see that on there. That's the A foot. Um, the next one is the overcast foot, which is, where are you at? Ooh, oh, oh, thank you. She goes to sleep. So she'll go to a screensaver, puts the lights on. That's fine. You can, I believe, change those pictures on there. So if you want pictures of a cute little dog or your kitty cat, or both with the kitty cat and the dog, kids, I guess, whatever, trees, landscape, uh, you can do that, which is fun. Oh, here it is. Your M foot, that's your overcast foot. We talked about the O foot. Uh, your satin stitch foot is F, which is you here. Uh, it's got a nice clear plastic in the front. This is great for satin stitches, or I like to call them blanket stitching. Um, that way you can kind of see what you're doing as you have a little bit more control as you stitch around that machine or around that, that cutout. You have, oh my Lord and my Lanta, a zipper foot. What? What does that mean? E? Oh, check that out. There's a zipper foot. How many of you use zippers in your bag making process? I know Kelly has, so I know many of you do as well. But it comes with one of those. You don't have to buy that. Did you? Well, the H9 doesn't come with the zipper foot. That's pretty, like, yeah. again, but still. The fact of what they put with their machines, generally, Janome is pretty generous with their feet. There's, yeah, that's kind of great. Um, <laughs> Jody says snakes are not good selling points. Mm -hmm. You're not wrong. That's why I don't really bring it up. But I had a customer that went and Googly searched it before she bought one. And she came in and she, she reminded me of that. Um, I don't bring it up in general conversation, but I figured we're here. You may as well, because you're going to Google search Janome anyway, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's next? There's so many. Uh, the conceal zipper foot. What is that? I think that's what that's for. That is. Yeah. So if you want to do a, a, a how did you say that again? Hidden. A hidden zipper. Um, they have a foot for that and it comes with the machine. That's pretty neat. 
Like I said, the motor with this guy, bag making, forget about it. You're going to go right through it. It doesn't care. Um, what's the next one? We have the double button hole foot. What? What does that one look like? That is, oh, that's this big guy. Where's he at? This is your double buttonhole foot. I'm not taking out of a pack. There's a couple pieces there. I don't want to lose anything and be responsible for that. Sorry about that. Um, all right, next we got number nine is the rolled hem foot. Oh, I've heard of these things. I don't rolled hem because again, I don't sew, but it's got that little, if you will, funnel that will kind of roll that fabric over. So you get that nice rolled hem, especially with like slicker fabrics. It does a really good job of kind of corralling it. So you're not trying to wrestle with it. Kind of neat, comes with it. Again, this isn't just a quilting machine. This is any type of sewing. If you sew, this machine's got you. Um, let's see what else we have here. The quarter inch O foot, we talked about that. Oh, they do also have, oh, no way. Okay, so I actually saw this in the comment conversation on Janome's uh, page one day. Somebody had the quarter inch foot. They really wanted that quarter inch foot without that guide. They have a quarter inch foot without that guide. So, O foot with and without the side shield. How nice is that? The professional great HP foot, that would be number 14 here. That's this guy. So I was talking to Danielle about the HP feet earlier this morning, mainly because I've always wondered what the HP foot is for because high performance, that means I'm just gonna go fast and straight and that's all I'm doing. The HP foot has one of the most accurate quarter inch distances from needle to side of the foot. So you don't really need that blade guide on the edge of your foot to know that you're at a quarter inch. And because of that, you can also go nice and straight because the feed system on these machines is amazing. Um, so the HP foot is a great way to get that quarter inch seam straight, consistent, and fast. So that comes with that foot. It also comes with the HP2 walking foot. So this guy is, so you, we've all seen walking feet before. These are AccuFeed feet. The way these attach to the machine, they're designed to hook into the back of the needle, of the hopping foot bar. Um, and it feeds nice and evenly. So you get an even feed across your fabric, whether you're halfway on the fabric feed dogs or all the way across them, it's gonna feed them the same consistent way. So you're not gonna get strange pulling from one side or the other, it's gonna feed it evenly. And even at high speeds and doing a straight stitch, that's gonna work. Um, this guy here is, what is that? F2, what is F2? Oh, this is the open-toed satin foot. Oh, so we talked about this F foot having for your, your satin stitches, this one does not have the barrier going right up to where the needle comes down. So it is open. So you're gonna have an even clearer view of what you're doing. So a lot less visual obstruction, which is really kind of nice. Um, we're getting real close to the end of my feet here. You got your darning feet. Also, AKA your quilting feet. If you're gonna do quilting, you're gonna use these guys. Also really good for thread painting. You would use these guys for that. Um, again, since you have the stitch regulator set up, you probably won't ever really want these ever again, but maybe, who knows? I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. But you've got both of those open-toed and closed. You've got your regular, 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 regular foot? Your regular, regular foot. Standard. Your standard ruler foot. So if you're gonna quilt and you wanna use a ruler and you don't want to use the stitch regulator, you got that guy for it. You've got your, whoop, this is a ditch foot, I believe. My G foot. Somebody, anybody? Blind hem, that's your blind hem foot. Daniel uses that to put her bindings on, so that works really well for her. Uh, this guy, what is that? QC, oh, free motion quilting closed toed foot. So if you want a free motion quilt, again, without the stitch regulator, you got these little guys that will make that easier for you, which is kind of fun. Holy cow, you got your echo foot for quilting. You've got your guide. Say you just want to do straight straight line quilting and you want this to be evenly apart. This actually slides in the back of your foot up here and then you, based on where you put it, you stitch a line, you move it over, you ride that in the previous stitch and then you just stitch and that will keep you nice and consistent across. Just a nice little metal there. Um, and then this guy, I got sidetracked by T. Uh, this is your button sewing foot. Again, a whole nother part that Jason doesn't know about. That was a whole lot of feet. I, I think a centipede would be really excited about this machine. So, 
Um, Julie asked if this is the biggest machine that Janome has. Um, I think the M17 may be a slight bit larger. Um, off the top of my head, I feel really bad not knowing that. I should know, and I suddenly feel sheepish about that. Sorry. Don't have a good answer for you on that, but it's 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 pretty much in that wheelhouse. If you're looking for a sewing machine and you don't want combination, if you're just strictly looking sewing machine, yes, this is Janome's largest machine. Um, like I said, the M17 is an awesome machine, but the M17 is a combination machine. So basically take all of this awesome, add a little bit more, and then add on their amazing embroidery system uh, with a hoop that is 11 by 18, which is gigantic, uh, which is really cool. That's the M17. It's this plus some steroids, but the good kind, not the kind that'll get kicked out of baseball of Hall of Fame. Not that. That's dangerous. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, sorry, Pete Rose. Oh, wait, no, wait, Pete Rose did. He gambled. That was a different story. Uh, so again, I really could go on forever. If I had this facing me, I would poke buttons and go through it like just forever. I won't do that to you today. What I'm going to tell you to do is come in, have a look at this lovely, beautiful machine. Um, they have some amazing deals running around right now. Janome does uh, pricing. Uh, Trade-ins are always an option here. Um, I tell people you'll probably get more if you want to sell it out directly, but if you don't want to deal with other humans, I will absolutely do a trade-in. I have no concerns or qualms about that. Um, yes, we do offer financing. We do use Synchrony for financing. So if you don't have that kind of money to drop on a machine like this today, but you'd love to have this machine, you can still get this machine. It's still a possibility. Uh, otherwise, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about without really diving into more that I don't want to start opening worms. So come in, see me today. Let's talk. Let's get you a brand new machine. Uh, and, we'll, you know, have fun doing it. So otherwise, if you guys are good, I'm going to ask Kelly if she's doing all right over there. Are we good to get the heck out of here? Yep. We're going to do that then. I'm going to go do things, and I'll see you guys here shortly. All right? Cool. Bye. Mm -hmm.